Guys, hi guys, my name is not Sigiri Lundumalo, proudly South African. You know I'm based in Finland. If this is your first time you are seeing this video or you are seeing me, please do know I'm on Instagram as Cooking with Nancy as well as on Facebook as Cooking with Nancy. So guys, um, the last video I think I did um, put or maybe just somewhere here, I did say um, that um, Germany was the worst place. I mean, for me, I had a bad experience as a black woman. Um, but I want today. I want to talk about the best things in German. So, if you want to visit German, you want to come to German. You do also need to know the beautiful and amazing things of German. When I recorded this video, I was still in German. So I would say that the beautiful things in German, first of all, is that even though they don't translate things, even though they don't like to speak English, they are not accommodating at all. When you go to the shopping center, then you know that there's the, the, like a TV machine thing. I forgot the name, so you can just write it down below politely <laughs> with, with some respect. Yes, of course. Don't come for me. Don't come for my language. Anyway, so you can write down below. What I did see is that uh, on shopping centers, they do have some kind of translation um, in, in like a flag of England, meaning that you can press for English. You want to use the ATM as well. They do have um, the English uh, part of the translation, uh, mm -hmm. translation. But I would say that, yeah, it is the good things about the country because all we want is to come to a country and be accommodated. But um, I will also say that, of course, it's a strategy of the country that you come and spend your money. They want to help you so much to leave the money in the country, which I just feel like it is kind of like taboo. Because if you can translate things that needs money for the country, you might just as well be helpful in every way to everyone that is coming to visit German. So, yeah, do not worry on that part. They do also translate um, things like put your mask on. Or anything that you think is gonna help the country uh, it's either they are protecting themselves or they are making you spend your money it's gonna be translated um, moving on um, why wait guys I'm just trying to think there's a lot of things and I think I'm gonna forget some transportation transportation in German is also super amazing um, I'm not comparing much German and um, guys, when I was recording this video, I was visiting and where I'm visiting, there's also kids and they're kind of like running around. So yeah, you might hear that on my background and I'm sorry, I had to do the work. It doesn't matter where I am. So I was talking about transportation. Transportation in German is very, very good. I don't know. I think before I came to German, I kind of like pictured German um like finland like sweden like norway which it's just totally a kind of like different country i know i just i kind of like compare them you know i was like comparing a bit but yeah if right now i will have to compare german and finland i would say that i will give it to german uh as a country the transportation guys you will find s and u which is alphabet s somewhere i'll s Alphabet, it's for the train in German and some U, it's for the train. Uh, so it's literally everywhere. If you don't find the train station or you don't see this alphabet anywhere uh, in the street, you will find the bus. There will be bus with numbers, with different numbers. When you go on your Google, um, I will share down below the app that you can use while you are in German for the transportation. When you go to the app and then you type... Um, where you are or your location and then you type where you are going it's gonna show you uh the bus that is near you it's gonna show you the the train that is near you and it's always like four minute walk from wherever you are standing that's how amazing they are with the transportation in terms of uh how much the transportation is cost i don't know because when i came here in germany there was this thing of nine euro tickets the whole month you can use it everywhere so I'm kind of like not sure at all, but I would think that it's maybe much cheaper than in Finland where I live. Um, <clears throat> but it wouldn't be cheaper where you live because I don't know where you're watching me from, you know. But yeah, I will give it to them. To those who like to party, you like to drink, you like, you, you like the nightlife. I haven't been like literally out, out, but I've been in bars and drinking and stuff like that. I would say that uh, compared to... 
uh, these other European countries like your Switzerland, Norway, Sweden, um, Italy, Italy, uh, I said Italy, I know, you know, <laughs> Italy, uh, Finland. I would say German have quite a cheap beer. It is a beer country, my people. It is, at the end of the day, a beer country. So you will expect when you come here, the beer is super cheap. Um, not super cheap, but the beer is super affordable. So if you are a beer drinker, and I would say that alcohol in general in German, uh, compared to these other European countries that I've been in, including Spain, I would say that beer here is quite cheap uh, compared to the European countries. Um, to other European countries that I've been in, yeah. Um, I will, I know that uh, Turkey is is also counted as a European country, but I'm not counting Turkey right now because Turkey uses a different currency. Oh, I'm talking about the countries that are using euros right now. So yeah, you might um drink your lungs out when you come to German because it's quite good in terms of <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of apartments and hotels. They are not cheap. They are just uh, the same as other places. I mean, I've been in hostels. They pay like 35 euros. Breakfast is not included. They don't offer you a shower gel. Uh, you just come with your bags and sleep, you know. Um, in Munich, I was in a hostel where the breakfast was included and it was 35 euros, which if you go to other places too, you will find that it's almost similar and the same price. So there wasn't nothing extravagant uh, about uh, the hotels here. They pay uh, like 80 euros, 200 euros for a decent um, four-star hotel. I mean, hotel. So, yeah, I would say that they are okay. Um, I know that I'm talking about the greatest things or the good things that are in German. But we do also, I do want to mention the food. The food is also not so expensive compared to other European countries. Um, but it's not cheap. Mm, German, German with food, they are just not friends. Um, <laughs> let me just say that German and food, I did see that just not, it's not because I'm a chef. It's not because I'm a chef. It's just because of the taste. I mean, I thought that Sweden so far was the worst. I didn't like Swedish food, but I wouldn't say that in Sweden they don't cook well. But in German, I would just say that German food is just not the kind of food you want to get excited to eat or yeah, anyway, I've said this before. They are not famous with their cuisines. They are not known for the cuisines. They are known with for their beer. Now, let's just talk about the land, the buildings and everything. Yeah, it is a good place. If you are an influencer, you are a person who likes the history, you want to know what happened before. It's a very, very uh, great country in, in, in terms of that. They, could, they hold a very, very huge history. Um, it's a country of Hitler. Um, so, you know, they got a very, very big history. You got buildings. Uh, some of the buildings, uh, they don't look as, as, as they were before. So they did touch them up. You get also some buildings that haven't been touched up. So yeah, if you want to come and you just, you want to be here and you want, uh, some history in it, it's a very beautiful country. German is straight, got lands and it also have some mountains. So if you are a climber. Or a climber i don't know what <laughs> what it's called yeah if you like to climb mountains uh you like to swim in the lakes you like to to be in the bush maybe hands yes you can come to germany it's perfect um when i came to germany it was in summer uh the country i'm sure is beautiful in winter too um because i know in finland it's it's it's, it's so amazing in winter as well <laughs> when i watch the screen i look like i'm watching the other way so yeah um i'm sure even in winter it looks beautiful especially um in especially in in the mountains you know yeah german with uh with a view it will it would it would it would slaughter you <laughs> yeah i i really love the view um yeah that's it i think those are the things that i think is very important that you should know if you come to german that yeah transportation you would go anywhere and everywhere uh with a bus with a train and you be comfortable um yeah guys in i will just keep on making videos in german i'm gonna be in german for one week more so if you are watching this video in august please do know i'll be in german until end of august so if you are around in berlin i cannot go anywhere else if you are in berlin you can just 
Give me some shout outs in the description box down below and I might see you. Guys, please don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. If you have, I love you so much and thank you for supporting. Um, bye.